If you ever lost somebody you love, you know what time it is, man. Rest in peace to my real niggas, in the field niggas, all sight drillers and them drug dealers, I deal with them. Wish I was still with them, smoking dope and pop pills with them. Another killer died when his mama cry, I still feel it. I can't change Joe with men of drop top poops in the Range Rovers. I can't help that. I grew up with some insane soldiers. Murdered death in my lifestyle. My mama prayed for me cause my life was wild. When I first touched 30,000, I was too high. I couldn't come down. Let me get you to run down. I had to hustle from sun up to sun down. Too many niggas dead and gone, so I'm never ever putting my guns down. I seen some friends killing best friends. A lot of real shit. I ride with my niggas, I die with my niggas, I'm dirty with 30s and semis. A birdie is with me, I'm nervous, I'm swerving, I pray and I hope no forgive me. You busting, you hit me, you must not forget to finish me, I'm taking you with me. Y'all niggas don't play in my city, that shit not okay in my city. I love all my niggas, I'm with it, we did it, we spin it, the minute we get it. I love all my bitches, I kiss it, I lick it, I hit it, the minute I'm in it. I love all my niggas, I'm with it, we did it, we spin it, the minute we get it. I love all my bitches, I kiss it, I lick it, I hit it, a minute It's out in my grandma, my house, I ain't been around this bitch in a minute Police just lurking, these bitches just working, they serving, they pussy, I'm with it Chrissy just called me, she told me she saw me, I told her, come get me, let's get it I'm cooling with Ricky, but then she come get me, I promise in seconds I'm counting these commas, I'm towing these llamas, the drama, I promise I'm with it Gucci with a Chris and a Bentley and harness was nothing, I honestly get it that Gucci and Louis I bought for my mama was honestly hundreds of fixes. I'm spending my money on weed and lean and choppers and max with the beans. Ice on my chest and my Rolex is mean, boy, you cannot fuck with the thing. I bet if you flex, there's a hole in your chest, you red and dead on the scene. I go like my bro ain't got nothing to live, but I got some killers and kids. That's murder for hire, my niggas on fire, cause that's what it is. I ride with my niggas, I die with my niggas, I'm dirty with 30s and 70s. My birdie is with me, I'm nervous, I'm swerving, I pray and I hope Lord forgive me. You must and you hit me, you must not forget to finish me, I'm taking you. Young niggas don't play in my city, that shit not okay in my city. I love all my niggas, I'm with it, we did it, we spent it, the minute we get it. I love all my bitches, I kiss it, I lick it, I hit it, the minute I'm in it. I love all my niggas, I'm with it, we did it, we spent it, the minute we get it. I love all my bitches, I kiss it, I Killers count straight cash. Homicides double bag. Homicides double bag. Be careful if you owe me shooters on your ass. Killers count straight cash. Homicide double bag. Homicide double bag. Be careful if you owe me shooters on your ass. I ride with my niggas, I die with my niggas, I'm dirty with 30s and 70s. A birdie is with me, I'm nervous, I'm swerving, I'm praying, I hope Lord forgive me. You busting, you hit me, you must not forget to finish me, I'm taking you with me. Young niggas don't play in my city, that shit not okay in my city. I love all my niggas, I'm with it, we did it, we spin it, the minute we get it. I love all my bitches, I kiss it, I lick it, I hit it, the minute I'm in it. I love all my bitches, I'm with it, we did it, we spin it, the minute we get it. I love all my bitches, I kiss it, I lick it, they hit it, the man of Bando Live from the Bando with Bando, nigga, you know what time it is, nigga Bando Live from the Bando with Bando, nigga, you know what it is, nigga I say bando. You hear what a bando?
my name is Tatiana. We're here with Fat Trail, and you're watching 80 Vibe. Today we're gonna make a DC connection, which is our spin on a French connection. First, we're going to fill our glass with some ice. And then we're gonna do about two ounces of Hennessy. And then we're gonna top it with some Grand Marnier, just to give it a citrus, oaky feel to it. And there you have your DC connection. All right, man, welcome to another rendition or addition of 80 Vibe, man. This is a special one for me, man, because you know, for all of those who watch me and been watching me for a long time, you know, I'm from DC, born and raised, and I love the city, I love my city, and this brother right here is, is one of the staples out the city, man, one of the most talented artists, period. Whether you're from DC or not, this is one of the best rapping niggas in the world, and it's an honor, man, to have him sitting on the couch with me, man, it's a special one. Fat fool, fat trail, how you feeling, What's Sam? Up, man, my dog. Man. What's how up you, with man? it, man? Welcome, you, man. welcome, fat trail to the motherfucking couch, man. Um, first off, I just, man, want to start by saying, you know, congratulations, man, for all the shit that you done been through, all of the trials and tribulations, all of the ups and downs, man. You stayed consistently you, and that's hard to do. You right. know what I'm saying? Especially with all the pressures that come from where we come from, and all the shit that is easy to get caught up in. You done made your way through all of that, through them hurdles, man. And uh, I just wanted to give you congratulations and say, man, I'm proud of what you done done and what you doing, Slim. Man, I appreciate it. You know, flowers coming from a nigga like you, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and being from home, too, but like your stature and everything that you uh, pursued in your career and, and all the uh, establishments and accolades you got, you know, that coming from you. I love that, man. I appreciate that. Man, man that's what real. it is, that's man. My dog, man. All the way now. I'm going to start. The first question is, man, for those who may not know, who is Fat Trill? Fat Trill is, uh, um, damn, man, where do I consider myself? I consider myself a good, humble, good-hearted nigga from Northeast, in front of Pentacles, Benning Road, 1600 block of East Street. Um, and I'm just Northeast to the fullest, you know what I'm saying? And, like, I like getting money and holding it down for my niggas and for the struggle and you know I love the women. That's just who I am. That's always just, been that way. <laughs> that's just for always real. been my, 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 my model in music is just to be myself and just always be me. All the way. Now, yeah. you know, you from Northeast and a lot of people don't understand the city and the, and the, and the you know, the, the geography of our city, mm -hmm. man. So I'm from uptown. Right. And you from Northeast. Mm -hmm. So if you could explain to people who don't know and not familiar with DC, how would you describe Northeast? in contrast to the rest of the city? Um, man, how would you describe North East in contrast to the rest of the city? I guess, you know, like North East, like we really on paper and bitches, you know what I'm saying? Like we really on paper and bitches and just hustling hard and like, you know, togetherness and, and you know what I'm saying? Like versus where you from, you from uptown, like uptown niggas is on straight getting fly and getting money. Yeah, straight exactly. money and getting fly. That's like, it, they don't care about no bitches or nothing. Every day they running around chasing another dollar and they dressed in the finest fabrics in the city, you know what I'm saying? Versus the South Side, Southeast is like, it's down and gritty and grimy, you right. know what I'm saying? Like, it's the dirty, dirty South. All the Everybody way. know what's going on on the South, nigga. Watch your back and your front at all times. At all times. Be on your P's and Q's, it's the South and they ain't got no picks, you know what I'm saying? At so that's just, that's just like the real demographic of the city. Man. And you know, for me, growing up in the city, you know, I'm born and raised in the city, so you know, a lot of people don't understand that dynamic because they see D.C. and they see the White House and the Capitol and all that, and they oh, see yeah. how small it is, and they don't understand the dynamic of where we come from. Like, for mm -hmm. me, like, Georgia Avenue Day was our day. I remember I went to the first Unifest, and I was like, where the fuck am I? Yeah. Like, the <laughs> southeast side of it was just so different. And so with you being the type of artist that you are and having the type of success that you've had just within D.C., how did you, how do you feel like you bridged that gap? Because niggas fuck with you all over the city. So what do you think that if you can point to one specific thing that you did to bridge the gap? Because a lot of people don't know uptown niggas don't go over south side unless right. they got to and vice versa. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel like you bridged that gap? What do you think you did? Um, basically what I did was that I was just coming from a place where like, look, man, I'm Trail, I'm from E Street, like, I understand our every hood got different parts with different hoods everywhere, but like, I'm on some rap shit, and I'm trying to take DC to the next level, because when I started rapping, 
DC rap wasn't cool. Uh, Go Go's was, was running the city. And you know what I'm saying? So what I was doing was I was just linking with everybody. I, I linked up first with Uptown XO, and he the one who got me introduced to the Salute Uptown to rap XO, scene. Yeah, to Uptown XO. He got me um, introduced to the Uptown rap scene and all the open mics and shit, you know what I'm saying? And then I uh, I linked with Booby. Shout out to OG Booby, mm. Oi Boys Booby. And he was bringing me around the South and introducing me to all the South, and I got introduced to Chris Bow and then, and then like, that's just how, I was just going to different hoods, like pulling up. Let's shoot a video around that motherfucker, man. Let's let the world see the real DC on YouTube, bro. We can reach nigga all across the seas and all that. And that's what I was on, you know what I'm saying? And like, niggas thought about it and was like, oh, nah, yeah, let's do put our hood. Cause you remember back in the day, the old Hood to Hood DVDs? Uh-huh. Nigga, I watched, I tried my best to purchase every hood to hood yeah, DVD yeah, there that was. all the way. Because I wanted to see what the trenches looked like. Everywhere. Everywhere, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And so that's what I did to bridge the gap, bro. I just went to different niggas' hoods. Maryland, Palmer Park, you know what I'm saying? Virginia 5000. I went all over and was just shooting videos like, let's put the city on. So I wasn't afraid to pull up on this. I wasn't afraid to pull up. Now, mm -hmm. you just spoke about Gogo, -Go and, um, you know, a lot of people don't understand that about our city. Like, growing up, I never wanted to be a rapper. I wanted to be in a Gogo -Go band. Absolutely. But I did not, we did not. Our city culture is so strong, and the Gogo -Go shaped our city. So, like, do you feel now, in this day and age, that Gogo -Go has lost some of his luster and his thunder, you know, in the city. Do you think not not nationwide? Because it's always been a cult, you know, an internal thing for us. Mm -hmm. But do you think that in the city it still gets the type of appreciation that it should, being as though it's so major for who we are as a people coming from DC? Well, as far as at home, I feel like that DC rap has taken over the city. Mm -hmm. I feel like um, rap shows, rap concerts, open mics, rappers and singers, period, are being supported more as far as crowd-wise versus Go-Go now. So to answer that question, I feel like rap has taken over the city. But Go-Go is forever the sub solidified bottom line of D.C. Right. You know what I'm saying? There's a Go-Go every night, seven nights a week in D.C. It ain't no rap concerts every night nah. in D.C. You yeah, know I was saying? so sick, man. I remember when I was a younger, I was mad that what happened to the lights? <laughs> y'all niggas, what the fuck type moves is oh, y'all putting yeah, in here? Oh, yeah, they try to put a move. Hey, look. The wrong niggas hey, in look, I'm telling you. <laughs> and see, and that's, and that's just like an uptown nigga to be on point. What's up, nigga? Oh, I got too much money going. What the fuck you do to the niggas got You know what I'm saying? Fuck y'all got going on. Shit. Y'all make sure y'all get that right, man. Get the lights back right. I got too much money on me. The go-go, man. Like, I was so sick when, when Chuck Brown, because Chuck Brown, I was always, I used to watch the Ibex tapes when I was young, mm -hmm. and I was always geeked out to go to a Chuck's show when he passed before I was old enough to go, but just that part of the city, like, you know, I, I feel like the rap has taken over, but, you know, for somebody like you to still say that Go-Go is the bottom line, it, oh, yeah. it gives it, you know, it still breathes that heartbeat that we need for that because it's so big in our culture. Absolutely. Uh, I also wanted to ask you, man, see, you done been through a lot, and I think a lot of people don't understand where we come from. We deal with a lot of pain, man, and we got to... I think that plays into, like we was talking about before we start shooting, just our mentality coming from the city and right. how fucked up it can be at times. Right. You know what I mean? And I think that comes from a lot of the, you know, untapped trauma that we've been through. Like, for example, you know, I done lost so many friends, the violence in the streets. My father got killed, uncles, cousins, friends. You yeah. know, seeing it, being around it, being a part of all types So. What, if you can give the people watching an example of what helped you get through a lot of the shit that you've been through, what would it be? Um, an example of something. Something um, specific that you do that gets you through the trauma that we go through, Slim. Because I think a lot of people need those pointers to get through the shit that they go through out here. And they a lot of niggas speak on it that ain't never been through it, but we didn't really been through it. So I yeah. want to get some of your shit. So I think one of the biggest things for me that helped me get over the you know, the violence in D.C. was throwing myself into my work, throwing myself into my job, like studio time, um, shooting videos, interviews, whatever, just constantly trying to evolve my craft. It it had never blindsided me from the uh, facts of what went on in my life in D.C., but it had helped me cope with it better, you know what right. I'm saying? Like, because I try to implement, like, you know, my brother got killed while I was in prison. Right. Um, rest in peace, Booster. Yeah, rest in peace, Booster. Man. You know, I try to keep him, you know, make song titles out to him, tape titles out to him, and I got him in my chain, like, just to always keep him close to me, you know what I'm saying? But the, my chain is a part of my work, too, you know what I'm saying? My music, you know, Booster's Keeper. I'm creating a whole album titled Booster's Keeper. 
you know, in that whole track, I'm just pouring my heart out about my real life situations, you know what I'm saying? These ain't no club songs. So. In the trap songs, these are just like real pain, heartfelt songs that I wrote in prison. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that helped me cope with it a lot, you know what I'm saying? Just being, staying busy with my work. Now, I know a lot of people in the world, like, deal with things different types of ways but like that was just one of the main ways for me personally just throwing myself into my music all the way and speaking of the music man like i'm a fan and mm -hmm. been a fan for a long time i remember the first time i seen you on youtube with that fat fool <laughs> that's all nigga no scholarship but our ball nigga yeah. clock don't come out to fall nigga hollow tips go through walls, walls nigga. nigga i mean like i was like oh i know where that nigga from yeah. before i even i mean you with the shirt off in the motherfucking apartment with yeah. the phones on i'm like that that nigga look like me i'm telling you you know what i'm saying yeah. and this like from that point to now like what do you think you've learned in in your journey that you would say is most important the fat trail still being as shocked as you are on your pen and in the studio. What do you think is the thing that made you from the, from being that raw young nigga out the streets of DC to now being somebody who has accomplished all that you accomplished? What do you think keeps you still raw as you? Cause you, you know, a lot of people get on and then lose that luster and that, mm -hmm. and that ability to be able to be, you know, to make you feel them in the studio. You yeah. haven't lost that not one bit. So how do you think you, you kept that Well, intact? you know, I think for me personally, first of all, like music is, I actually love music, you know what I'm saying? I don't, this is my job, this is my, I make a living off of it, so I feed my family and pay my bills, but music first is my first love, first, you know what I'm saying? Like before I turned it into a business, I just love music, you know what I'm saying? So number one, like I, I hate to sound cliche, but like pr perfecting my craft, like practice make perfect. You hear athletes say that to the younger kids all the time, or you know, you hear lawyers, come do speeches at class or whatever and they tell y'all like stay at your work and practice make perfect and it sound corny but it actually like work you know what I'm saying like because when you when you dedicate yourself to one thing and one thing only how can you not become great at it you right. know what I'm saying and so I feel like man music saved my life you know? so you know that's 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 why I gotta go hard and stay with it because it saved my life and it's like a a coping mechanism for me you yeah. know what I'm saying some people get how to ease the pain. Some people get cut themselves to ease the pain. Right. Some people run, you know, people run in, in the day and the night to ease the pain. Me, it was always music. Always music, every studio. mood, angry, sad, happy, turned up, whatever, it was always music that took me there. All the way. Now, mm -hmm. coming from the city, man, you know, I don't know if this apply to you, but a lot of people always be on me because I ride around listening to old school music all the time. <laughs> Snap, like, I, niggas be thinking I'm 70 years old when I ride around listening. I'm talking about I'm pulling up off all the 102 J, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that type yeah. of stations, them type of music. So, like, did that influence you at all? Does the, does the music that we grew up on and that old school flavor that we come from out the city, how big of an influence was that on you? Of course, absolutely. And I'm not saying this, to answer that question right, I'm not saying this because I'm sitting here with you. All my men from around my way, all my past bitches I didn't deal with, all I'ma tell you, all I do is ride around in Anita Baker, Marvin Gaye, all day, all night, bro. Slim. When I got my first car, my mother made a CD. I didn't even know you could do this at the time. My mother made a CD, he put like um, 130 oldie songs on it. Oh, yeah. By different groups, you know MP3 what I'm saying? Three yeah, joints, but it was yeah. a CD, though, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I, ain't, I didn't know that you could put 130 songs on one CD, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But she gave it to me like, that my first car, that's all I rode around to, straight Anita Baker. Man, I grew up on Anita Baker, man. Every night of the week, my mother come home from work, she put that Anita on. Man, I used to think Anita Baker was my aunt. I ain't gonna hold you, <laughs> man. I'm telling I used you, to say she was a part of my family, because every time you come in the house, coming from outside, riding around, whatever we was doing, you come in, you hear that. All day long. So, and I can hear that, and I ask you that because I can hear it in your music, the, the melodic nature of your music. Like, one of my favorite songs by you was Feelings. Okay. Like, I love feelings, yeah. and you can hear the melodic nature of just the influence that, you know, I just wanted to know where it came from if you had that old school influence. Yeah, that's it's definitely an old school influence, but it's also mixed with go-go. Right. Everything ties all the way back into go-go, you know what I'm saying? I started rapping on go-go beats. I started, you know, I used to play for a band called Hardcore Band, you know okay. what I'm saying? Like, when I was young, like, in the eighth and ninth grade and shit. What's See, they wasn't called Hardcore Band, they was HCB. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Three HCB. letter, HCB. Yeah, 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 I used to salute to all the members of HCB, yeah. wherever you niggas was at. Big Earl was the lead mic, but, um, 
My other influence as far as my music, it ties back to Go-Go. You know what I'm saying? Chuck Wink from Backyard. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, I forgot his name, TCB. I think it's Corey from TCB. Mm -hmm. Like, hearing them sing, nothing feels good if not with you. Look at these shots that he gave me to. Take it off. I don't want no one to stop with you. Uh, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, nigga. Yeah, hey. all the way. Or even with the keep on repeat. When the beat come, you're the first to run. Like, nigga, did you hear that? And you, that's not your gun. It belongs to all the way. So, uh, you know, just all of that, man, is, and I got to ask you that, Slim. What was your first go-go? What's the first go-go you went to? The venue and band? But the first go-go I went to was the tunnel. Okay. <laughs> the old DC star. Yeah. Um. And the band was T.O.B. T.O.B., okay. T.O.B., man. Yeah, my first you know, one was the Black Hole, Backyard. Yeah. I never forget. I'm in that town, nigga. Yeah, yeah but nigga, Slim, 640, right? Yeah. The bitches from the 40 used to wear the, like, the, the, the army fatigue shit. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing a lot of people don't know about the go-go, Slim. I always tell people all the time, if you in the city and you beefing, don't go to the go-go, because right. whoever you beefing with is going to be in there. there. And man, I seen the, brought the girls from from the 40 whoop niggas. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, nigga, where am I? I'm like 14 yeah. in that bitch. I ain't even supposed to be in there. I'm like, man, this is amazing. And that shit was turned and out. It don't, and it's so crazy that it don't affect us. Like, a lot of people will see that. And that's why I say about our mentality. A lot of mm. people will see that and be like, oh, and we be yeah. like, nigga. Yeah. I ain't that's going it. to school tomorrow. Uh -huh. This shit dope as a motherfucker. And it's like, you know, and that's the thing that I take with me when I go everywhere, because I done been all over the world, man, and, you know, I wear D.C. on my back Absolutely. everywhere. as you do. And, you know, for me, I think one of the most important things that I like to get out about the city, because we went through a lot of gentrification and a lot of the shit that places that we grew up loving aren't there no more. Like, I try to express and be a walking, you know, personification of the culture yeah. that comes from our city. So if you could say, what is one of your favorite things outside of Go-Go? One of your favorite DC, the cultural things that only we know. What is one of your favorite? One of my favorite things that only a Washingtonian would know. I guess it's like whatever uh, having a day in the city. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We go on a uh, East Street day. We're going to search and call today. We're going to 640 day, y'all. All Southwest got a day, y'all. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That was the thing about the summers that kept, that's what made the summers summertime. Every hood had a day. Had a day. We go around their hood and everybody's just deep as shit and it's out there. We all love. We got the crap game. We got the bitches down the street. Niggas making sales over here. But like, it was just a turnt day in the city. You know what I'm saying? Peaceful. Everybody out having fun. That's what I, that's, that's one of my main number one things I love about the city that a memory that I can never let go. I remember going to all them days, man. I used to geek. Nigga, we bought outfits for the day. Yeah, you know and what I'm saying? Like, what I was about to say for me is, <laughs> is the clothing, mm -hmm. the, the madness, the all days, the shooters, yeah. and then how you can identify what section of the city a nigga was from, from based on what he had on. Yeah. You know exactly. what I mean? And a lot of people don't know that that part of us is so important. That's why I say, man, DC is his own world. Mm -hmm. We never had to leave for nothing. We had our own clothes, our own music, our own way of doing everything. Mm -hmm. But for me, I'm glad that we are in a position to be able to spread that around the world. Because in my opinion, a lot of the reasons why us, any city, I have been all over America, everywhere, twice. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, the places that you don't know is because you never had nobody come out and narrate that city story. Exactly. And you are one of the narrators of D.C., man, and you mm -hmm. have been doing an amazing job at it, man. Appreciate and I can't it, tell you enough, Slim, like, for from coming from a city so driven by Gogo, -Go, for you to make the transition that you made and be one of the pioneers of D.C. rap. Absolutely. Man, you can't never take that away from you, yeah, Slim, man. all the way. And... Speaking of the music, because that's what we hear about now. Why did you pick the songs you perform? Why them three? Because you got so many. Why those three that you picked to come and show the people on 85? Um, you know, I think Festa is one of the um, first singles that's dropping off my um, next project. You know what I'm saying? Nightmare on East Street 2. And Ooh. so, yeah. You call it Nightmare on East Street 2? Yeah, I'm taking it back. You know hey, what I'm Sam, uh-oh. So you niggas is in trouble. I'm telling you, man, you know what time it is. <laughs> so, so Fester, um, you know Boogie, my nigga, man, right now, and, and, and he he hot right now, 
and and we got so many records together that I felt like, man, let's just get these, push these joints out. You know what I'm saying? And so I had to do um, Festival because that's one of my favorite records right now. And I'm just talking that shit. We just popping our shit on there, you know, as Washingtonians should. And then Rest in Peace, that's one of my classics. Right. All, can't never miss it. Yeah, classics. all the way. Mm-hmm. Now, um, you know, being as though you're a veteran now, I don't know if you consider yourself that, but you are. Who are some of the younger artists in the city that that, that Trail is listening to? Some of the or younger. Or rocking with, you know, some of the new talent that, that the people might not know. Um, shit, man. Commas, Faggy, Kai. Fuck Faggy. Yeah, Faggy, Kai. Um... Rest in peace, 23 Racks, man. Racks was crane that shit. Yeah, Racks was most you know man away. And um, you know, shit, it's a man, everybody doing anything in the city right now, man, from Cruddy to to man, everybody. And I'm not trying to be funny by naming all these artists because, you know, they got their own shit going on in the city, but like J Mo, Savage, Baller, all them youngest, man. Um, um, Glock Jones, all them youngest been cranking, man. I'm like, I listen to all them niggas, like, all the way. you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, so our city, man, we got a lot of a, t- a lot of talent, man. You, you know, know a young saying? nigga I just got put on to not too long ago that I love, man, uh, KP Skywalker. You heard of him? Nah. KP Skywalker. I think I think he's from off MLK, but young okay. and is. Young and got it, man. He makes him making some good music, man. I'm gonna so check, I'm gonna check, check that out, out today. All the way, and I'm gonna check a couple of people because a couple of them I never heard of. But yeah. you know, I'm I'm for anybody from the city. I want to see everybody from the city, right, right man. And well, I am no fees, my bad. That's not my, my yeah, my bad. Right. I am no fees. You know, I'm, you yeah, say yeah. you wanna rob it, what <laughs> you mean, bro? That's I, one of my favorite no, from you too. Look, he got the city on tilt, bro, and like. That's what that's what I look for in my DC music. I listen for the Washingtonian in you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like because I'm more not to sound funny, man, I'm on my city so hard. Like Me I too, love man. DC. Me too. Hard as shit. You, you know what I'm saying? It, so when I listen to the music, like I'm listening for the Washingtonian in you. And I feel like I have no fees like embody like a real true city nigga. You know what I'm saying? No savage embody like a real young turn nigga from the city. Baby J Mo, you know what I'm saying? Them niggas they, like they 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 are DC, you know All what I'm saying? Like no funny shit, like baller, like that's a real DC nigga, a real get money nigga. Man, I pop my shit, I'm fly, get money. The bitches love me, you know what I'm saying? Like that's what a, a city nigga rep on a on a most day to day basis, you know what right. I'm saying? So all them young is cranking, man. Like I love that shit. All right, and I gotta ask you this before we get out of here: best mumbo sauce in the city? Who you going with? Man, I'm going with the rat rat around my way. You lunch. I got to go with you, you know what I'm saying? Either the rat rat or China Walk. I got to go nah, with them, bro. Sam, I got to go nah, with them. I'm from Northeast, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm going nah. with the rat rat, man. See, that's a beef that we, boy, that right there, <laughs> that'll that cause a whole debate. I know he got his road. young man over in the corner. He probably over there beefing because he can't say his. What's yeah. your favorite, what, what's your favorite, what spot your favorite moment of sauce going from, Kai? Oh, Eddie. Oh, uh, Eddie, Eddie let it oh, all. Yeah. Listen, man, um. This is you, like I said, man. This is an honor. Tell the people what you got coming next, man. What, what's next from from Fat Food? Um, well, my first single with, um, video off the uh, project Nightmare on East Street Two drop March Seventeenth. That's Finster, featuring Boogie, and um, I'm just about to turn the streets up. You know what I'm saying? I, I got a, I got a couple projects coming. That basically what I've been doing is flying all around and just filming a bunch of videos, getting ready to knock the streets down. You know what time it is? I'm home now. I came home in the last quarter, basically. Yeah. Like at the end, so it's the top of the year. We about to get the ball rolling. I'm just trying to crush them, real city style. And that's know? what I'm gonna tell you yeah. too. And this is just me, you know, understanding how important you are to not just the city, but to music. Period. Mm-hmm. Keep your ass out of jail, Absolutely. Slim. Absolutely. I got Stay you, home, Slim. Man. I got you, Slim. For real, Slim. Stay out you. your way, man. And my mother, I got you, Slim. All right, man, we well, need you mother, out here, man. You, Keep that's making it. sprays and shit, yeah. man. Let's like, fuck that. We need you out here. Yeah, that's all shit is the way. Over with. <laughs> you know what I mean? With, we right. need you out here, man. Well, this, this is another very special addition to 85, man. This is one that I've been waiting on for a long time. And uh, again, man, I can't say this enough, Slim. I'm proud of you. Yeah. I love what you're doing. I love what you've done. I love what you're going to continue to do, man. Keep putting on for where we come from. Slim, you got a, a, a hell of a gift, man, and I yeah. want you to keep it splendid in every possible way, Slim. Absolutely. All right, love, I got man. You, love, love, love. Bitch, you already know he lunch about that curry out shit. You know what's happening. One more time. Casamigos are doing. Casamigos are there. My name is Fat Trail, and I'd like to welcome y'all to an 80 vibe. Great. I just followed all my ops. 
smoke a fake Instagram page He bout to pull up and catch him a bomb But really he thinking he getting laid I was in church serving packages I ain't even thinking about getting saved My bitch just told me she wanna rage I just been searching for better days I was just thinking about Boosie while watching a movie Which Uzi on shooting today And my little new bitch exclusive for pussy jacuzzi I might set her name on my face You might just make me go shoot at your mother, little nigga I like to step with my cutter, little nigga I'm in this bitch with my brother, little nigga Don't make a... I pull up on Boogie and Drake in my hoodie I feel like what's goody, I'm ready to shoot I know my top at the top of the street And he nah and no, if I'm ready to shoot I get so crazy, I might drop 80 My mother might call me, what's wrong with you? I just be tripping, I just be rolling with pivot Could never that long, man I follow my eyes I know they be slipping, I got a child, but the fuck is you kidding? It's only right that I shot what I'm giving Smoke me a nigga, I made me a killer I'm with the killers, I'm rolling in Memphis Louisiana, I got me a hammer Rolling with 30 and Brody a standard Knock a few bubba, they don't want no I don't want no bottle, why niggas be tweaking with me? I got a heater and seeking to be Kill me tonight, I'ma keep it in G If the feeling is right, I'ma need me a Tell me how you let your homie die Why you ain't none of your homies slide? You went to his funeral, kissing his mother I feel like you... I just followed all of my aunts from a fake Instagram page He bout to pull up and catch him a bomb, but really he thinkin' he gettin' laid I was in church serving packages, I ain't even thinkin' about getting saved My bitch just told me she wanna raise, I just been searching for better days I was just thinking about Boosie while watching a movie, which Uzi on shootin' a date And my little new bitch exclusive a pussy jacuzzi, I might tell her name on my face You might just make me go shoot at your mother, little nigga I like to step on my car, little nigga I'm in this bitch with my brother, little nigga Don't make a pop out with that car, little nigga Hey, ugly little nigga. Yeah, this shit can get ugly little nigga. Yeah, I come from the bottom little nigga. I spot me a op, I hop out a cop, got on my side a little nigga. Yeah, I come from the bottom little nigga. I spot me a op, I hop out a cop, got on little nigga. Uh, you don't want no pile little nigga. This bitch got a switch, I love when I shot a little nigga that. Thank you, thank you very much, thank you very much, thank you very much.